Hey guys, this is Pixel Dan, and I wanted to talk about the newest reveals from Super 7 for the Masters of the Universe Classics line. Now, in case you haven't yet seen this, just the other day, Super 7 dropped the announcement of four of their first brand new figures for the Masters of the Universe Classics line, now that they have taken over that ship from Mattel. Now, you might remember that we've already talked about the first figures that they're producing for Masters of the Universe Classics being the Ultimates line. The Ultimates line is their new lineup that basically re-releases pre-existing figures with a few new additions, and they're putting them in those really cool vintage style boxes. Now, pre-orders pre -orders already went up for that first wave, which was He-Man, Faker, Ram Man, Skeletor, and Tila. Um, the way that we now know that they're working those is they're kind of a pre-order system. They're kind of made to order, so they open the pre-orders for a period of time. Uh, they were sold individually, which is cool, no subscription, and whoever ordered them uh, was guaranteed to get those figures. There's no word yet for sure if there's going to be extras of those sold uh, once they come out. Uh, but it, the way they're kind of telling people is that it's a pre-order system, so you should pre-order the figures because they're making however many people pre-order them. Um, so those were the ultimates. These new figures that they're revealing are part of the actual classics line, meaning these are brand new characters that we have not had figures of yet. So this is the first set of brand new figures coming from Super 7. So this is pretty exciting stuff. So we got four figures in this lineup. Uh, so let's just go ahead and run down these figures real quick. I wanted to kind of make sure you guys knew about them. I wanted to also give my thoughts on them uh, as we kind of ran down the list. And then we'll talk about uh, potential for what we think is going to kind of come next or how this is going to be handled. So uh, on the lineup, four figures, four brand new figures. Let's run down the list. The first figure on the list is Fangor. Now Fangor is a very cool looking figure. I got to say right out the gate, I love the look of this guy. So Fangor is a snake man, uh, and he is a basically a brand new character, but he was created uh, and appeared in those newer Masters of the Universe Classics mini-comics that were released by Dark Horse that came packaged uh, with Masters of the Universe Classics action figures. So he appeared in those comics, um, and it's pretty cool to see this because um, this character was actually brought to life by a really great Masters of the Universe fan and an amazing artist, Axel Jimenez. Uh, he did the artwork on a lot of those mini comics. He is the one that brought this character to life. So I bet it's gotta feel pretty cool to Axel to see it get turned into an action figure and a really cool action figure at that. I love his accessories. Um, really cool reuse of parts or some great new parts there like those accessories are awesome he's got an interchangeable head uh with the longer fangs because the imagining of this guy if he were a figure in the vintage line that would have been his action feature the fangs would have kind of jutted out so uh it's pretty cool he definitely has a very vintage feel to him even though he's created for this newer line uh, and I'm always cool with building out the Snake Men, you know, adding more characters to that. So he in this line is our one kind of new character uh, created just for those mini comics, finally being brought to life. And I think that is pretty cool. The next figure on the list is a new Adventures of He-Man character known as Quake. Uh, now, personally, I've always said this. I really do like the vintage new Adventures of He-Man toy line. I'm indifferent towards the cartoon, but the toy line is really great, and some of those character designs are awesome, especially the Space Mutants. So I've always loved seeing these brought to Masters of the Universe Classics. Uh, I was hoping that we would see more Space Mutants, and Quake is a really cool looking one. He is so wild and so crazy. Uh, this is the vintage Quake figure. I've got the vintage figure here. Uh, I've always thought that was a really fun design. I love his really wacky face. And this new figure of him just looks really awesome. Um, I think it's really cool kind of seeing how they reused some of the parts, but also gave him a lot of new sculpting. Like this guy just looks like he's got a lot of new parts going on there. Uh, I'll be anxious to get him in hand so I can really inspect that. But uh, that's one of the things I didn't know when we were talking about Super 7 taking over, if we were gonna get a lot of new parts because we know tooling is expensive. So I didn't know if basically we we're gonna end up with just a bunch of mashups of pre-existing stuff. Um, so looking at figures like Quake here, it's nice to see something very cool and very original looking. So I like this guy quite a bit. 
Next up on the list is a filmation inspired character uh, being Hawk. Now Hawk comes straight out of that old cartoon series. Of course, uh, she was the Avionian woman who uh, betrayed her people by working with Skeletor and then it was a big trap. If you watch the cartoon, you remember. Uh, but she's a very cool character that a lot of fans have wanted to see. We also saw that character come back for the Mike Young Productions cartoon series. She was in the 2000X mini comics. So she's been around, she's a longtime character finally getting her due as getting an action figure. Figure itself looks great. Uh, she's in the classics line, not the filmation line, which are separate. And I believe Super 7 is keeping them separate. So it's interesting to see how filmation she looks in this line. Uh, she's got that very simplistic design. She doesn't look like she's extra detailed like some of the other filmation characters in classics have been. Uh, but regardless, I'm really happy to see her here. One of the other things that's neat is she comes with an interchangeable head where you can actually change her to a different character named Delora. Now, Delora is Stratos' sister from the Filmation cartoon series. Um, so this is one of those cases where you might even want to buy two because you might want to display both characters. But it is kind of cool that they threw in the extra head since the bodies are basically exactly the same for those characters. Uh, so that way you can switch them out and, and make whichever one you want. But it's a new female character, which is awesome. It's a new character straight out of Filmation, which is awesome. A new Avionian, so I am all on board with Hawk. I love seeing her in this lineup. The last figure on this list is a longtime demanded character. This is one whose name has come up in so many polls for so many years. This is Lodar, who comes from the original Masters of the Universe mini comics, the comic titled Slave City. He was one of those one-off villains that was just seen in those old mini-comics. He's never had a figure or anything like that. So we're finally getting him in all his purple glory. I mean, the purple colors are crazy. They tried to match the way he looked in that uh, mini-comic. He's got a very Shredder-like look to him, of course, so I like that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I think this is really cool. He even comes with the crazy, like, neck and chains that you can put on He-Man, uh, which is the way he trapped him, you know, in the mini-comics. So I think that's pretty cool. But I just love seeing more characters straight out of those original mini comics because there's some great characters in there uh, they've been demanded by fans for a long time and i think that's pretty awesome seeing them in this lineup so you look at this overall lineup and it's a really great mixture i feel i mean we've got kind of a concepty or newer character with fangor we've got a filmation character with hawk and delora we've got a new adventures character with quake and a mini comic character from the original line with lodar that's a great mixture and with classics lasting as long as it has and has given us so many characters, especially all the main characters at this point, uh, this is pretty much where we're at. We're getting a lot of these characters who have never had toys before, who appeared in the various He-Man medias, and I really do think that this is the right move. Now again, I want to stress that this is separate from their Ultimates line, because I saw a lot of comments saying that they were wishing that so-and-so character would have been reissued instead. They were really hoping to see Fisto instead. But you got to remember that this is separate. The Ultimates line is their lineup that's for their reissues. This is just the standard Masters of the Universe Classics line, which is where we'll be getting brand new characters. So hopefully they plan to continue the Ultimates and we'll get some more reissues of some of those other popular characters in that category. But this category here is definitely where we're going to see some of the new characters that we have not yet seen in the Classics line. Now on top of this, Super 7 is also continuing the Filmation line. Uh, which will be the ones that, like Mattel was doing, come in more of that Castle Grayskull style box, uh, you know, with the, the window on it and everything. It'll look just like those. And those will be the pure Filmation characters. And we already know that Super 7 is revealing new ones for that line at New York Toy Fair. So we're going to have more new reveals coming up in just a few weeks, which is very, very cool. So there's no prices listed for these yet. Um, I don't know why they didn't announce prices or dates for the pre-orders, so we still have to stay tuned for that. Um, I'm hoping that these are going to be at the same $35 mark that the Ultimates were. Uh, it'd be even better if they're at a $30 mark, but what I'm saying is I'm really hoping they're not more than $35. I think more than $35 is cutting it a little close, is making it a little too expensive. So fingers crossed that they're at that same price point as the Ultimates. Uh, I believe my understanding is that everything in the Classics category is still going to come on the standard uh, Castle Grayskull brick design blister cards that we saw uh, with all the figures from Mattel. So again, three different categories. The Ultimates are on that vintage style, Classics are on the green bricks, Filmation are in the boxes. So I think that's the way that Super 7 is planning to keep it. So we definitely want to stay tuned. Hopefully we have announcements soon. I think it's going to be a pre-order system again. It's not a subscription as far as I know. I'll be curious to see if you have to pre-order all four 
or if you can just do individuals, I hope they do individuals like with ultimates because I think at this point in the line, there's just no way to escape cherry picking. Everybody's not gonna want everything anymore. Um, so it's a great selection of characters and I want everything, but I've already seen a lot of people saying that they just want Hawk because they've been waiting for Hawk or they just want uh, Lodar because they've been waiting for Lodar. So uh, fingers crossed again for individual pre-orders. We'll see how that goes. New York Toy Fair is only a few weeks away. I will be there per usual. I already have an appointment scheduled with Brian from Super 7, so I will definitely be there to see uh, any of the new figures that they have on hand. I'll try to get some good footage of. Uh, again, they'll be revealing new filmation figures there from what I'm told, and I will definitely be getting an interview so I can try to get as much information for you guys as possible. So uh, be sure to stay tuned to my channel as always. Hit that subscribe button, that way you don't miss out on any of my videos about Masters of the Universe. I will put links in the video description if you wanna go check out the reveals for yourself. Otherwise, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. And my friends, I will see you next time.